Before we launch into some of the impacts of global climate change, it's first important to note that the IPCC has concluded that temperatures on Earth are indeed increasing, and that's something that um, we really don't argue about much anymore. So within the scientific community, we haven't been arguing for a while, but outside of the scientific community, there's even consensus in the political and soci social landscape on the idea that temperatures are indeed increasing around the world. Um, this was further uh, summarized and detailed in the 2013 report that was put, it, put out by the physical science basis team that worked on the IPCC that um, looked at all of the different climate data from up to the present, up to 2013. And you can access their full report at this link. Um, and you can also read the summary of their findings. So they made a very bold statement in this report, and they said the global warming of air and water systems on Earth is unequivocal. And as you may know, scientists, we don't like to say things 100%. We're always kind of hedging our bets a little bit. But in this report, they did say it is unequivocal. We do not doubt that the, the air and water systems on Earth are warming. And um, they have so much data now to back that up that we really don't wonder if that's true or if there's if there's noise in the data. We are indeed seeing increases. So the last and and many of the increases that we're seeing are happening just over the last 100 years, as we've seen a large increase in the burning of fossil fuels as we um, increased industrialization on Earth. So the last 30 years have been the warmest 30-year period on Earth and the last, if you look over the last 1400 years, so these have been the, the warmest 30 years. And furthermore, each decade within the most recent 30 years has been warmer than the decade before it. And so if you look at the most recent decade, 2003 to 2012, that decade was warmer than the decade before it, before the decade of 93, 2002. And then that decade was warmer than the decade from 1983 to 92. So we are indeed seeing an upward trend, and that upward trend is increasing at an ever-increasing rate. So that slope is increasing over time. They are also less extreme or less record-breaking cold days and nights being reported across Earth. And there are more extreme warm days and nights being reported. So we're breaking a lot more records in terms of warm or hot temperatures and many less records in terms of cold, cold snaps or cold days and nights, so record cold temperatures. Uh, most of the increase in heat that we're seeing on Earth is, is being stored in the ocean. So 90% of the heat that is being stored on Earth right now is being stored in the ocean. As you know, water has a higher heat capacity than air, and so it can hold on to more of that energy from heat. And the oceans have warmed measurably in the past 40 years on a global scale. So if you look at this uh, flattened out globe, and you can see the temperatures, um, any temperature increase in, in the last 100 years is recorded as a red or purple spot on the globe and a uh, temperature decrease is recorded as a, as a blue or light blue spot. So on the globe you can see overall we, we overwhelmingly see red, orange, and purple. And then there's this one little spot south of Greenland where we see blue. So it's, it's cooling the ocean there and um, that's also where we see glaciers are melting into the ocean. So there's many different things that can lead to that, but overall overwhelmingly we're definitely seeing warming on a global scale.